Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Curtis with Rapid3D. Today we're gonna to be discussing accuracy. All right, so here at Rapid3D, we deal with multiple different types of scanners, but some of our favorite scanners, both to use and to work with our customers on, are the Creoform handheld self-position lines, both the HandyScan lineup and the GoScan lineup. Now, both of these scanner lineups come with a spec sheet, which includes two accuracy specs, a local accuracy and a volumetric accuracy. So our goal today is gonna to be explaining what those two specs mean, how they affect the way that we scan, and how it's gonna affect you guys when utilizing your scanner. So the scanner we're gonna be using today is the HandyScan Black Elite model. This scanner has a local accuracy spec of 25 micron, and a volumetric accuracy spec of 20 micron plus 40 micron per meter scanned. Now, what do those numbers mean in the real world? Well, to demonstrate that, we're gonna focus first on the local accuracy, that 25 micron. That refers to how confident the scanner is in its measurement capability within a single scanning volume with all common targets. So the scanning area on this scanner is about 300 by 300 millimeters. So as long as it can capture all of the targets within that scanning area, and it doesn't have to move targets, it's rated to that 25 microns. So to demonstrate this, I have a precision ball bar here. It has two spheres of a known diameter and they are a known distance apart. So for the local accuracy, we won't be able to capture the entire bar in a single volume, but we can capture one sphere within that single volume. So we're gonna fire up the scanner. We're gonna scan a single sphere using all common targets. We're gonna extract the diameter from the scan data and compare that diameter to the known diameter on the ball bar. All right, so our extracted diameter from the scan data for the sphere here was 38.122 millimeters, and the known diameter is 38.105 millimeters. So we were able to capture that measurement within 17 microns using our local accuracy. So that's what local accuracy refers to, one scanning volume, taking measurements within it. Volumetric accuracy is measuring between two points in separate scanning volumes. So to demonstrate that, we're gonna scan the entire ball bar. Uh, obviously we can't capture it using one set of common targets, so we're gonna to have to transfer between scanning volumes. So we'll scan the entire ball bar, we'll extract the diameters of both of our spheres, and then we'll extract the measurement between the centers. So the sphere diameters, we should be able to capture within a single scanning volume different scanning volumes obviously, but single scanning volumes for those, so we'll be within our local accuracy for the diameters, and then the distance between them will be between this scanning volume and that scanning volume, so we'll be using our volumetric accuracy. Volumetric accuracy of 20 microns plus 40 microns per meter, this is about half a meter, we should be expecting that measurement somewhere in the, the 40 micron uh, accuracy range. So. Let's scan it, see what we get. All right, so comparing our measured diameters and distances to our known diameters and distances, S1 here, we remember it was 38.105. We actually measured it at 38.109 on this scan, so we're four microns off on this one. 
S2 is 38.102 millimeters and we measured at 38.113. So we're 11 microns off on that diameter. And those are both a local accuracy because they're taken within a single volume of targets. Obviously different volumes, but single volumes. Now the distance between the two is between those two volumes. And our known distance is 648.474 millimeters and our measured distance is 648.494 millimeters. So 20 microns off. That's still well within our 20 micron plus 40 micron per meter. So on this bar, we should be within 40 to 45 micron. We're well within that. We're beating the accuracy spec for this scanner. Now, what does that accuracy spec mean when you have to measure a long distance? So to demonstrate the effect of distance on accuracy and the volumetric accuracy, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna scan our ball bar and we're gonna measure our diameters on our, our spheres and the distance between the two of them. But rather than taking the most direct route between the two, which would be about that 0.6 meters, we're actually gonna cover up our ball bar with this cardboard box and we're gonna scan our, our sphere number one and then we're gonna to transfer to our targeted table here we're gonna scan all the way down to the floor, across the front of the table, up the other side, over to our sphere number two. So the, that total distance scanned is about 3.8 meters. So our volumetric accuracy spec, even though we're only measuring 0.6 of a meter, our volumetric accuracy is based on the distance scanned. So we're gonna be looking for about 170 micron accuracy on our distance but our diameter should still be within that 25 micron local accuracy. Well, those are some pretty definitive results. So sphere number one here, we measured at 38.116 millimeters. So we're seven microns off of the known diameter. Sphere number two, 38.091 millimeters. So we're 11 microns off of that known diameter. And then the distance between the two of them, we measured at 648.620 millimeters, which is 146 microns off of that known dimension. So when we measured it, the direct route, we were 20 microns off. When we added the extra almost four meters of distance, we were 146 microns off. So we added 126 microns of air just by scanning the indirect route. So what does that mean for you guys when you're scanning at home? Um, take the most direct route between two measurements that you're gonna be taking. If you can, scan in a spiderweb pattern to reduce the distance between your measurements. And if you're working in a single volume, you're going to be accurate within the local accuracy spec. But if you're transferring between two volumes across a distance, you're gonna be in the volumetric accuracy spec. So hope that cleared it up, guys. If it didn't, we'll put our contact information below. Call us anytime. We're happy to answer any questions. And thanks for watching.